Welcome back to 5-Minute EDC. Today we're going to be talking about the Casio DCB32 1A data bank, also known as one of the many different Casio calculator watch models. Casio is a company that's very famous for digital watches. They've got so many relevant models like the F91W, the G-Shock line, uh, but I think most of us remember them, especially from childhood, for the calculator watches. That's probably their most famous at least as far as pop culture, uh, most famous line of watches. There are a number of different ones. I'll throw a picture up on the screen here. And the model that I have is maybe one of the, the ones with the larger face, um, but I just like the look of it. I like the look of the buttons. Uh, once again, this is the DCB 32-1A. It comes in at about $25, which means you get a lot of functionality for the price, which is always true of Casio. So giving measurements is a little bit unique on this because as you can see, it's a whole lot longer than it is wide. So this watch comes in at about 47 millimeters in length and about 35 millimeters wide. So it's definitely gonna wear on your wrist uh, a little bit different than most watches. It's definitely rectangular. The good news is it's only 11 millimeters thick and it lays very flat to the wrist. It has a resin band, which is common of a lot of Casio watches, kind of like the World Time or the F91W, even some of the G-Shocks have this plastic resin band, which is actually very comfortable, meaning this watch is, uh, I would say, among the more comfortable digital watches to wear on your wrist. It also helps that this watch only weighs 1.28 ounces, so it's extremely light. Like most Casios, you get a whole lot for your money, especially at the $25 price point. This watch has a stopwatch function, it has a 25 page data bank, which basically means you can save sequences of numbers. I think most people use it to put uh, phone numbers, but 25 pages of data that you can enter and it has a memory to retain it. 13 different languages that you can switch it into, an eight digit calculator, which is probably the most famous function of the watch, four alarms that you can set and customize, one of which even has a snooze function, and a pre-programmed perpetual calendar all the way up until the year 2099. The screen lights up, here's a shot of it in the dark, and the resin strap is about 22 millimeters thick. Here's a shot of the watch on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Just to give you an idea of relative size and style, here's the calculator watch next to the Casio World Time and next to the G-Shock DW5600, which is like the standard digital G-Shock square. One funny thing is I couldn't find any stats or specs either on the watch, in the manual, or anywhere online about water resistance. So I guess I'll say, be careful with this one, try not to get it wet. I don't know that it's especially susceptible to water, but I do know that it's unlisted as far as what it can actually handle. So if you're getting wet, I might take another watch. Another great feature, of course, like a lot of Casios have, is the 10-year battery life, meaning it's gonna be more of a set it and forget it, not going to worry you about running out or dying when you need it. Like with most Casios, there's not a lot to complain about. Um, you know, I think it fits my wrist pretty decently. I think if you've got a smaller wrist than I do, you may find that it wears a little bit big. I did a review not long ago about the Casio World Time, and one of the critiques I was making is that you really need to be in the right situation and the right environment to pull this kind of watch off. And I think that philosophy is really doubled down when it comes to the calculator watch. Another small critique, and I don't think it's the case of all the different calculator models, but on this particular one, and I've seen it online too, so I know I'm not the only one, the keys are a little bit tough to push. Some of the other ones have like a softer, kind of a, a one of those, soft rubber key situations. Um, and this one is, is more like a hard casing that you know you can push, but it does give you a little bit of resistance. And it's hard to be accurate um, you know, with, with the way that the keys are laid out, at least on this particular one. Overall, like I've said about most Casios, and I'll probably continue to say, what you get for your money is awesome when it comes to the calculator watch. At only $25, you get so much functionality, you get a unique and cool look, and something that's really iconic that will start conversations and definitely catch people's eyes. I'll put a link down in the description. You can check this one out on Amazon, and there are other ones too, so maybe I'll list a few of the different calculator models down there. But if it's something you're looking for, something you're interested in, pull the trigger. It's cheap. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time here on 5-Minute EDC. Mm -hmm.